Let's go ahead now and get the style sheet that we used for our template imported into Expression Engine and working for our site. To do this, we're going to create a new template group called Styles, and we're, we will store our style sheets in that. That makes sense, but how to store uh, style sheets is something in Expression Engine that uh, people differ on. Some people prefer to store their style sheets in the Expression Engine control panel like we will do. Some people, for other reasons, prefer to store them outside of Expression Engine, mainly for faster serving times. Now notice that when we fill out this template group, we're not duplicating a previous one, and we're not making this the index page of our site. So we'll go ahead and submit that, and notice that it has already created for us an index for our styles template. Anytime you create a template group in Expression Engine, like our home or styles, it will automatically generate an index one for you. We don't want to call our main style sheet index. We're going to instead create a new template inside of our styles template group. This new template will be called main. And main will be the name of our CSS file. Last time when we created our index page, we left this template type as web page. But to do the style sheet, we're going to have to select template type CSS. Notice that there are a few different formats here. We have an RSS page, we've got JavaScript, a static, and an XML page. These are important because if Expression Engine is going to serve a page up in a certain file format, it needs to know that. Um, in this case, we need it to serve a CSS file, and we will go ahead and select that here. Um, none, we don't need to duplicate another entry, and we're going to click this button here that says create and edit, and that will go ahead and create the styles main sheet and open up the text area to edit it. We'll go back to our template, get our main CSS file, and we'll just copy and paste all of that into the Expression Engine control panel. So now we have our styles CSS file, and if we click to view that, we can see that it's all up there. But something that's important is that we can't just put a link like this into Expression Engine and expect it to load the style sheet. Expression Engine has a very specific way for how to link to style sheets from within Expression Engine. And this is the format. We would type style sheet is equal to template group, ours is called styles, and then the CSS template itself. Ours is called main. So what that means is that when we type a normal link, when we get to putting in the href, instead we'll put in style sheet equal to, and then wherever we can find that located. If we come back into our home index page, and we look at our link, which was previously in the assets folder, CSS, etc. We will delete that and we'll type it instead style sheet equal to and ours is styles forward slash main. We don't have to put CSS at the end or anything, it will automatically convert it for us. So if we go ahead and update and finish this and we view our site, notice that now we have the basic CSS styling applied. And if we look in the source code, we can see that it automatically generated a link that sort of looks like what we saw before, but it also has this version number um, on the end, and it will go ahead and update this as we edit our CSS file from within the control panel. So there we have it, the first two basic steps done, our main template loaded and our style sheet loaded. What we will work on next, we can see that images are missing, but before we get to that, we're going to go ahead and start chunking up our template into include so that we have a distinct header aside and footer section that we could use commonly across all of the different pages that we're going to make.